Hey, Nancy, I have a question for you real quick. Yes, ma'am. Um, so in order for us to count our meetings, we have to have people like sign in. And I was wondering if it would be okay for me to share like a QR code where they can go in and sign in online. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, okay, That'd be all perfect. right, sounds good. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh -huh.
Leslie, we are at like two minutes out. I don't see the two attendees who registered for the Zoom in here yet, but I'm going to try to direct folks from the Zoom from the Facebook into the Zoom also. Um, your QR code, will you be able to share it? Um, like where they'll be able to see it on Facebook also, or was it something you were going to put in the chat? Oh, well, I was going to put the link in the chat, but I can make a QR code real quick. And okay. that way they can see it on Facebook too. That'd be great. Okay, perfect. Okay. All okay. right. Thanks. Yeah. Good afternoon. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Nancy Mason. I'm the director of the Muskogee Nation Youth Services Program, and I am glad to be here this afternoon with you all um, for a presentation for our Jigosin Yugebida or Little Steps Program. Um, this has been a project that we've been working with young people who are parents ages 12 to 24, um, just providing them with some resources and services um, to help them help their children grow. Uh, just a little bit before we get going, I would like to invite anyone who's attending via Zoom um, to use the chat and the QA feature if you have questions or want to make comments to us, um, and that way we can respond to you. If you're viewing via Facebook Live, um, please put comments um, in and we will also respond to those too. I'd also like to invite anyone who is a native parent, ages 12 to 24, if you'd like to come into our Zoom call, um, you will have a chance to win some parental supports. And those are items that you might need for your baby, like diapers, wipes, maybe a stroller, some really good things like that. Um, but feel free to click the link that is posted there in the Facebook um, notification and you can join us via Zoom. So please feel free to do that also. Just a few things about our program. Our mission is to empower Muskogee youth by connecting to culture, community, and resources. Um, so we do that in a variety of different ways. These are the program goals that we focus on. Those include fostering advocacy, um, providing resources, promoting civic duty, um, encouraging wellness, and creating support. And so this project actually falls under a couple of those categories. Obviously, we're trying to create some support. We are encouraging wellness, and we are also providing resources. Um, so that's just a little bit about that. Um, again, it's the Jagosa Nyugabita program. Um, we've been doing all of these different things. We've had text alerts going out. We have provided a series of webinars since last summer. Um, and we actually, this is um, one of the last two. We'll have this one today and then one again in two weeks. And I'll tell you more about that at the end. Um, but then also just providing a little bit of case management um, refer referrals and resources for the young ladies that we've been working with. 
All right. So I am going to go ahead and introduce our presenter for today. Um, her name is Leslie Lewis. She's with the Oak Mulgee County OSU Extension Office. Um, if you've never heard of the Extension Office, you're going to love it after you um, hear information today. I learned about this program actually a really long time ago because I'm old now, but um, it's one that I have uh, often referred families and parents to. I think it's such a good resource. And we have it right here in Oak County. Um, and th they're located in many different locations throughout the state. So um, without further ado, Leslie, please take over. All right. Thank you, Nancy. Um, I am going to share a QR code. And if you would take some time to take a you, all you have to do is get your camera out on your phone and um, put your phone up to the screen and it's going to pop a link up. If you will just take some time to fill that out um, while we're talking, I would appreciate it. It gives me information about those of you that um, are watching this video today and um, for, for my purposes that I have to report to OSU. So. Um, so I am here just to kind of talk to you guys today about the OSU Extension programs that we offer here in Oak County. Um, we'll just start off with a little history about Extension um, so that you're uh, kind of aware about how we came to be and where we've come from. So um, OSU is a land grant university that was founded um, back in the 1800s. And when uh, they were beginning, they found it hard to get their research-based information out to people in other communities. And so the Smith-Lever Act of 1914 uh, started the extension programs in uh, the United States. And each, uh, each state has a land-grant university and has an extension program. In Oklahoma, we have an extension office in all 77 counties. Um, so we have a presence everywhere um, in the state of Oklahoma. Um, and when extension first started, it was designed to get the information from the university to the communities um, out in the state. And so uh, we started with ag agents. Um, which is what I am here at uh, Old Mulkey, and I also work with the 4-H program. And then there were homemaker educators, or we now call them family and consumer science educators. And um, they teach things like parenting, uh, canning, different things like that. So that was the idea behind extension. And 4-H started as corn and tomato clubs. And um, they started 4-H because they knew that the youth, when they came to these um, club meetings, would take the information back to their parents. And the parents were more, um, more likely to listen to the kids that had learned it at their club meetings versus um, the adults coming in and trying to tell them how to do their farming differently. And so that's kind of where we've come from. So um, the OSU Extension Office, we do so many different things in our office. Um, so we'll just kind of talk a little bit about each program area and what we do and what we offer and those kinds of things. So the first thing that, um, the first program I'm gonna talk about is 4-H. Um, that is something that's probably uh, of interest to most of you that are on the call today. Um, so 4-H is our youth development program. And anyone that's aged five to 18, um, can be 4-H members. We have a Cloverbud program that's our five to um, seven year olds. And then they become bona fide 4-H members when they become, um, when they turn eight or, and are in the third grade. So um, in 4-H, we do lots of different things. Um, a lot of people have heard of 4-H before, but they, um, correlate showing with 4-H. Well, 4-H is so much more than just showing animals. Um, showing animals is, is an option. 
um, but we realize that not every kid has that opportunity. So um, there's lots of other things for them to do. We host speech contests, we host um, quiz bowls, they learn how to sew. We have day camps during the summer um, that range anywhere from cake decorating to science and technology type um, programs. And um, we also do a lot of programming within the schools um, during normal years. And um, most recently, I've been doing a yoga for kids program um, with youth services. So that's how I have um, joined in with youth services. We um, also offer lots of um, trips to our older kids um, that are overnight trips. And uh, they do leadership development during most of those. Um, and then, uh, like I said, they can sign up in 4-H and be an actual 4-H member, um, or there are other things that we can offer to those kids if 4-H isn't something that they're interested in, but they might be interested in something we have to offer. We do have a lot of kids that join in our summer day camps um, that aren't actually 4-H members sometimes too. So, um, I would invite you to join our uh, Oak Mulgee County 4-H page. Um, that's where we put a lot of our information about 4-H and what we're doing and things that are coming up. Um, so if you have kids that might be interested, uh, I, would, I would encourage you to join that page and just kind of see what we do. Um, the other program that, or one of the other programs that we offer here in our office is Family Consumer Sciences. Uh, that educator teaches a lot of um, family resiliency, uh, money management, um, things like that. And so uh, we do co-parenting classes out of our office. Um, she also does some summer camps um, that are canning and uh, different things like that. And so um, again, those are things that we'll put out um, on that Facebook page as well, uh, if that's of interest to you. The um, money management curriculums uh, or courses and things like that are done um, more through uh, groups um, or if somebody calls and asks specifically for that particular course, that's something that we can offer. Um, on an individual basis if needed. Um, one of our other programs out of our office is the Ag program. Um, I am, again, the Ag and 4-H educator here in Old Mulgee. And um, through the Ag program, I work with a lot of Ag producers to help them um, with weed identification, um, if they have fruit trees and they are having problems with that, um, if they have a particular issue with their lawn, um, I can come out and possibly diagnose that problem or help them find a way to uh, use a herbicide to get rid of weeds or something like that. Um, we do a lot of soil testing out of our office. Um, our soil tests uh, are sent off to campus and we get those back and we give recommendations on how to amend your soil to um, make it grow, um, whatever it is that you're growing, whether it be a garden or um, a pasture or a lawn or something like that. We give you those recommendations on how to um, properly amend your soil to make it grow a little better. Um, we also do a lot of programming out of our office. Um, we've uh, tried to do some gardening programs, if gardening is something that interests you. Um, I know right now, um, especially since last year, there's been a lot of people that uh, have wanted to start a garden. Um, they don't know where to start. So we're trying to get some of those type series uh, started here at our office so that people can come and learn about that. Um, another, the other, the last program 
that we have that is uh, out of our office is the Community Nutrition Education Program. And they do specifically nutrition education, either through the school systems or um, with adults and youth in the home. Um, this particular program, uh, there are certain requirements that you have to meet, um, but you can certainly call our office and see um, if you meet those requirements. And if you do, they will set up um, meeting times with you and um, either come to your home or um, have you come here to our office at the fairgrounds and do those um, educational courses with you. Um, and the, they also do some physical education type um, programming through that program as well. So that's pretty much what OSU Extension is and what we do out of our office. Um, again, I got uh, in contact with youth services through our 4-H program, and I figured that's probably something that's um, the most interest um, to you guys that are on this call today. And um, again, 4-H is just a program that we offer to those kids and it gives them life skills, leadership development, citizenship development um, as they grow and become, and become young adults that they can take with them throughout their entire life and um, grow from there. So, that's pretty much what we do here at OSU Extension. I'd be happy to take any questions if we have anybody on. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. There we okay. go. Oops. There, I'm back now. Um, I don't see any questions just specifically on um, Facebook right now. If you do have any, go ahead and post those. Um, I went ahead and put in links to a lot of the things that you were talking about um, from the OSU site. And so there's links to the 4-H, the ag program. Um, I did not know you all did co-parenting. And so that's interesting. That's very exciting that that's an option um, for parents. Can you tell us more about that? Like exactly kind of how, what does that look like for them? Um, so I'm not real familiar with the co-parenting class because that's not my area, but gotcha. I can kind of give you an idea. Um, yeah. That particular program I know um, came about just because it was something that was needed in a lot of our communities. And so it goes through and teaches those parents that are separated or divorced that, you know, kind of how, how to co-parent together, even though you're not in the same household anymore. Yeah. And um, just kind of gives them the steps and the, the know-how of how to make all of that work for them. That's really great. Yeah. Like you said, that is definitely, I think, a needed resource. Yes. And so that's very exciting. Um, additionally, as I was looking on their website, you all, you need to go and check it out because there are a ton of services that I didn't even know that they did. So um, you all should definitely look at that, connect with your local county offices um, for resources, whether you be um, a program or an individual, I would definitely say, see what's going on um, in your county. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and, and just because I didn't mention it and you might live in another county, that county may offer what you're looking for. Um, each one of our offices, like I said, we're in all 77 counties in Oklahoma, but each one of our offices is a little different. We each offer something the, the next one might not offer. Yeah. And so just look and see what's out there. Um, like I said, I just, I probably just touched the surface of of a lot of the things that we do here in our office. Um, I would overwhelm you if I told you everything we can possibly do. Right, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely some good information though and definitely it creates awareness. That's what we really wanted to do is let people know that you are there because I, I know some people like, they're like, what is that? You know, they've never even heard of it um, and you all have been around forever. And that was really actually even interesting to hear how 4-H began. I was a 4-H'er way back in the day too. So yeah, very neat, very neat. Um, let me just check one more time real quick to make sure I'm not missing any 
questions. Okay, good. So that again, we, means you've got all the great information out there. Um, so folks don't have any questions right now. Um, like Leslie said, she has been partnering with us. OSU Extension has been partnering with us for our wellness program. Um, she's been doing yoga for kids. Um, next week on spring break, watch every day. We are going to have some nutrition videos that they put together for us. So um, something, and that actually I think it's nutrition awareness month also. Um, and so that information will be coming out for you all to take advantage of and just have some really um, healthy snacks that are also affordable. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm just going to share my screen again real quickly so you can see our upcoming webinar. Um, like I said, Thursday, March the 25th, we're going to have um, the Muskogee Creek Nation's Office of Child Care come in. So they're going to talk about um, the services that they provide. So don't miss that one. You can connect through our website um, at muskogeeyouth.com forward slash event dash registration. You can get registered there. We have lots of events and activities going on. So definitely check out all of the information on that page um, to get connected. And then lastly, I just want to make sure that you all have our contact info again in case you need to reach our office. I did also put um, the extension office's number in the comments on Facebook. So you can find that information there. Um, but just to give that to you one more time is 918-756-1958. Is that right, Leslie? That is correct. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> it was a year, so I thought I could remember yeah. it. That's good. <laughs> All right. Leslie, thank you so much for your presentation today. I really appreciate you for this and just for the connections that we've been able to have with you all over the last few months. Yes, thank you, Nancy. I appreciate you asking us to come and talk. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that is going to wrap up our session today. Um, there is a evaluation that can be completed. I'll put that into the comments on Facebook also. Um, so if you're watching on Facebook, we'll let you play as well. Again, if you're a, a Native American parent ages 12 to 24, complete that evaluation for us and we'll have some goodies we'd like to give away to you all. Okay. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.